everyone, this is Sharon from Sharon at Sea, and one of our subscribers asked for us to put together a video on holiday cruising. So, with the holidays coming up soon, I thought that's a great idea. You know, holiday cruising can be a lot of fun for families, although it's not for everyone. There's some pros and cons to cruising around the holiday, and I'm going to go over a few of those with you today, along with a few other tips. Okay, I always like to start with the bad and lead into the good. So today we're gonna to start with the cons and there's not nearly as many cons as there are pros. So let's get started on a few of the cons and one of um, the biggest cons is the price. That's right, you are going to pay quite a bit more to cruise around the holidays and sometimes it'll be two to three times as much as the same itinerary if you were to cruise at another time of year. It will be a sellout. Most all ships will be sailing at full capacity. Holiday cruises do sell out, so plan the ship on being more crowded than usual and also many more kids. So if you are not a kid lover, you may not wanna go on a holiday cruise. So if you do not like long wait times or crowded areas, that's another reason you may not want to take a holiday cruise. Flying to the port. If you plan to fly to the port to get to your ship, book your airfare early as well because airfare will sell out and it will be more costly the closer it gets to you, the, your cruise date. So book ahead, plan your holiday flights in plenty of time. All right, taking in your pre-cruise hotels into consideration. A hotel in the area around the cruise ports will sell out early as well for the holidays, so you need to plan ahead and book your pre-cruise hotel early. In most cases, you can always cancel within 24 to 48 hours notice and not get charged, but at least you will have a place secured to stay. So book early and have a place to stay before your cruise. Okay, so that's all the cons I can think of. That was pretty simple, right? So let's move on to the pros. There's a lot of pros. I am going to tell you a few highlights of what you might expect to see on a Christmas cruise. Now keep in mind, these things do change from time to time and all cruise lines will vary as well. All right, let's start with ship decorations. The ship will be decorated to the hilt on most all cruise lines, you know, some more than others. There will usually be a big Christmas tree in the atrium area. You will usually see garland around the staircases. Uh, you may see some holiday displays such as gingerbread houses, small Santa's villages, and you know many more decorative themed areas around the ship. Some ships will have a special mailbox for the kiddos and adults to mail their letters to Santa. And some ships will bring in snow. Usually not real, but you know, hey, it's snow and it's fun, and they will also offer different activities, usually in the atrium area as well. All right, let's talk a little bit about entertainment and things around the ship. There will be usually some holiday themed shows in the theater. Holiday movies will be shown inside or outside on the Lido deck on the ships that have an outdoor movie theater. Um, the Grinch may make an appearance on some cruise lines. Santa usually will also make an appearance as well as bring treats to all the little ones on board. You may experience Christmas themed arts and crafts. I have even heard one cruise line offers cookie decorating. Now that sounds fun. Christmas music will be playing around the ship. Most cruise lines will offer a non-denominational Christmas service or a midnight mass on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day sometimes, as well as a Hanukkah service at some point. There is also Christmas caroling around the ship. Now how fun is that, right? Oh yes, some even have an ugly sweater contest. That's right, so make sure you bring your ugly sweater. All right, let's talk a little bit about um, everyone's favorite out there, food. <laughs> there will be a traditional Christmas dinner and you will see other holiday prepared foods around the ship. The cruise line will also usually plan formal night for Christmas night. They usually try to work it out so that the formal night falls on Christmas night in most 
itineraries. There will also be some uh, holiday themed photos in the photo, you know, photo ops for you to take pictures around the ship. So that's a great place to capture some family memories for the holidays. Weather, oh my gosh, weather. That's probably one of the best reasons to cruise for the holidays is the weather. Uh, that is such a nice perk to be in the Caribbean and nice warm weather for Christmas day. No cold weather, get you out of that cold weather. Most of the islands do celebrate Christmas, although there are some that don't. But no worries if they do, because if you are in port on Christmas Day, your tour will go on. That's right, just as planned. You will also get to experience different ports and their cultures for the holidays and see how they decorate around the islands. These are a few fun things you may experience on a holiday cruise, and now I will give you a few helpful tips if you are planning on taking a holiday cruise. Number one, book your cruise early. If you're waiting for a price drop, it probably is not going to happen. Prices will continue to rise and the ship will sell out. Number two, book your airfare and hotels early. The same reasoning as with the cruise. The prices will rise and once again, they will sell out. Number three, if you are on a cruise line that requires pre-booking shows on board, like the theater shows, book them as soon as you can. With the ship being full, the shows will fill up a little quicker than usual. Number four, book your excursions early. They will sell out as well. Number five, be sure to check your daily activity schedule so you don't miss out on any fun happening around the ship. This is an important one. There will be, you know, even the seasoned cruisers um, may be used to some of the regular happenings of a cruise line they cruise on all the time. Well, some of those may change around the holidays or there just may be, may, may be um, additional things that you do not want to miss out on. So be sure to check that activity schedule because there's going to be a lot of holiday happenings around the ship. Number six, pack an ugly sweater just in case there's an ugly sweater contest and you want to join in. Number seven, bring extra clothes for Christmas photo ops. There will be holiday backdrops and you know, you may want to take some great family photos. So maybe bring an extra outfit or so um, just to take a few extra pics around the ship. It's a great time to get some good holiday family memories. All right, number eight, this is an important one. If you have kids, decide what you want to do about presents. I would suggest bringing some small gifts for the kids on board that you can kind of wrap or put in gift bags easily, you know, for them to open on Christmas morning because, you know, the kids aren't gonna understand why Santa doesn't make it to the ship. So have those presents for them. Um, you know, you're not gonna obviously wanna bring anything big along. So plan ahead on where, you know, if they do have big gifts for the holidays, where are you gonna open them? Are you gonna open them before you go on your cruise, when you get home from the cruise? So kind of talk about that and plan that with your kids as well so they're aware of what's going on. And also, if you wanna wrap the gifts, either bring a little thing, a gift wrap, or just bring some gift bags in your luggage to, to you know, put the gifts in once you board the ship. I would suggest not wrapping them and putting them in your luggage that way, just in case the cruise line decides they want to check them out and open them up because then you have unwrapped gifts and no way to wrap them, right? So I would suggest just bringing some gift bags actually, and then you can just throw the things in the gift bags quickly and you're done. And number nine, my last tip, bring some decorations for your cabin. Some people even bring a small artificial tree and set up in their cabin. But I would suggest maybe bring some other, at least some other decorations to kind of hang up around your cabin, kind of make it look festive and, you know, just to celebrate the holiday, especially if you have kids. You can go to the dollar store, go to Dollar Tree and pick up a few things there for a dollar, bring them, and that way if you don't even want to pack them home, you can just throw them away and you're really not out that much money, just a few dollars. So that's a great place, a great resource to go to, to pick up some of your holiday decorations for the cruise ship. All right, hope this was helpful. I know there are many other cruise tips out there on holiday cruising. So any of you holiday cruisers out there, please post 
some of your tips in the comments below to help our fellow, fellow cruisers. We are all about helping each other out in our cruising community here. So please post your tips. And there you go. A holiday cruise does require, um, you know, some early planning to make things run smoothly. Although these moments with family and friends um, are just going to be memories you will make for a lifetime. So everyone should try it at least once, I think. All right. Until next time. Happy cruising.